want to know the truth about the Tovala Smart Oven? Well, the truth is, is that I don't think this oven is for everyone. I think some people are going to absolutely love it and get a ton of use out of it. And some people it's just not going to be a good fit for. So if you want to figure out which of those two groups you are in before you spend $300 on this smart oven, then you're going to want to watch to the end of this video. Let's get into it. So just gotta put disclosure out there, Tovala did send me this oven for free to review. They also did pay me for my time to make this video. Tovala also gave me a custom discount code, which will be down in the description. At this point, it's not an affiliate link, so I don't get paid whether or not you buy a Tovala or not, but it does save you some money. So check that out down below. However, as I told them, and as I'm going to tell you, this is a review of Tovala. I'm gonna talk about the good things, but I'm also gonna talk about things I didn't really like. So we got the legal stuff out of the way. So let's get into the video. So basically what this is, is it's a oven. So this is actually like, it's, a, it's an appliance that you buy from Tovala. If you're not familiar, Tovala is a company that they make this oven. It has a bunch of features that we'll talk about later, but basically half of the company is really about this oven. And then the other component that I'm going to talk about is the meal delivery service. And the oven is used to cook the meals that they deliver to you. Plus the oven can be used on its own for a ton of different things. In addition to the meals you get delivered directly from Tovala. You don't need to get the meal delivery service if you get the Tovala oven. However, the meals are specifically designed to cook inside the Tovala oven. So if you do want to get the meal delivery service you kind of need to get the oven so you can get the oven without the meals but you can't really get the meal delivery service without the Tavala oven. It basically can do pretty much anything that a regular oven can do. It can heat up to 450 degrees so this is not like a little like easy bake oven. You can roast vegetables, you can make bread, you can hard boil eggs, you can do all kinds of stuff in this oven. So on the Tovala oven, there are six different modes. So let's talk about each of them. So first is the scan mode. This is the most unique feature I would say of the Tovala oven, because basically this allows you to scan meals, whether it's the meals that Tovala sends to you, or they have, I believe hundreds of different items from the grocery store that are like big name brands. You can cook all of that stuff in the Tovala oven and you can scan to cook it where you don't even have to look at like what the instructions say really it will automatically heat up the oven to the appropriate temperature and automatically cook it for the right amount of time and then in addition to that they also have bake broil reheat and also steam and toast then the next thing you control is the temperature down below self-explanatory and then you can also control the time and then at the bottom is the start button on the inside you have this tray that comes with it um, it also comes with a like little tiny like cookie sheet kind of thing recipe cards for how to make like popular items little oven mitt a little like measuring cup that you can use to fill the water reservoir so now for just some pros and cons of the actual oven itself. So one thing I really like about the Tavala oven is it can do so many different things. It has way more functionality than just even a regular oven. The first thing I like is it's just kind of an added oven. Like assuming you already have a regular oven, it is pretty nice to have a second oven that you can use to cook things at the same time. I also like that it's relatively compact and could be a good option for you if you want like a little oven to put in like a basement or something. This is a really good option and obviously makes a lot more sense than like installing a full blown oven. Also, it just feels like very nice and sleek. I think it looks really nice. However, here are some things that I think you should keep in mind. It would be reasons to think about if this is the right fit for you. So the first thing is obviously this takes up counter space. Also something to note is that it can be the only thing plugged into the outlet at a time. So if you only have like one outlet on the countertop and your microwave's already using it, then, you know, that could be a problem. Also one little thing that I didn't like is it like, I, I feel like they should stop it from, it just like hits the, the ground. And then the other thing I just want to say about this oven is this is not a microwave. Okay. This is not a replacement for a microwave. You cannot heat water in it. You cannot pop popcorn in it and things take a lot longer than a microwave. So meals in here are going to cook in about 20 minutes. It's not necessarily the fastest way to cook everything or to heat 
everything up. So it looks kind of like a microwave, but it's not a microwave. So just keep that in mind. And then also just something to note is this does go up to 450 degrees, which is really hot for a little oven like this, but it's not as hot as like a normal oven that might go to like 550, 600 degrees. So, you know, you may not be able to make everything that you would make in a normal oven. So just keep that in mind as well. So now let's talk about the actual meal delivery service. In a lot of ways, it's very similar to a traditional meal delivery service. Basically you go on their website, you choose which meals look appealing to you, and then they send those meals directly to your door. Everything is delivered fresh, but not only is it fresh, it is like raw. Like they will send you like a raw chicken breast or like raw broccoli. Like it is not, like a microwave meal kit where everything is pre-cooked. You are literally cooking the ingredients from scratch. So one thing I did like about the delivery is it does seem like it's pretty low on plastic. It is packaged with recycled insulation. It's made out of recycled materials. Also the boxes that each of the meals are packaged in are made out of like paper for the most part. And it's pretty minimal on the plastic just in general. The only like nitpicky things that I did not like about the actual packaging itself is the first thing, the, the boxes, I don't exactly know why they're like this, but it's like they have holes in the bottom of them where if you pick up the box, they work very well when you have two of these like metal trays, but if you have like any meats that are individually packaged, they just fall out of the bottom of the box. Also, another thing I don't love about the packaging is a nitpicky thing is you can't tell like the calorie counts or any of the nutritional information on the outside of the box. You have to actually like open up the box to see that information, which again is a small thing, but just something I noticed and did kind of bug me if I was trying to choose between meals and I wanted like a lower calorie one, for example. I didn't like that I had to like unpack everything to see that information. But anyway, moving on, let's talk about how you actually cook these meals. So each serving is individually packaged. So each box is enough for one person to have one meal. So now let's talk about actually cooking the meals and what that process is like. So basically how it works is there's normally a very minimal amount of prep work that you have to do. So it's not quite as easy as like a microwave meal delivery service, but basically there's a small amount of prep work, which normally was like sprinkling some seasoning on something, or like you have to like unpackage the chicken and like cut it open from the bag. Easy stuff, but it took like a minute to do that stuff. And then you put it in the Tovala oven, you put the trays in, and then each of the meals are packaged with a piece of paper that has the instructions for any prep work, as well as they have a little QR code on that piece of paper. And so then what you do is you, after the meals are in there, you scan the, the barcode with the scan function, and then the meals just magically start and cook themselves. What I really liked about it is they automatically cook at the appropriate temperature. You don't have to set the time. Everything is just cooked exactly how it is supposed to. And then it stops when it's done. No preheating. I mean, I think it's preheating, but like that's just all encompassed into the time. And you will also get a push notification telling you that the meals are done. So yeah, that's basically how it works. I really liked how convenient it was. And I think what I liked the most about this is you are actually cooking these items. So I felt like I was eating more fresh food. So I did really like that. However, some things that I did not like that you're definitely gonna wanna keep in mind. And the first thing is something that I really should have thought about, but for some reason I just, it didn't even cross my mind. Most of the time when I'm doing like microwave meal services, Normally I will choose the meals I want, my husband will choose the meals he wants, and then it's pretty easy for us to just like cook one and then cook the next one like back to back because they only take like two or three minutes. However, these meals take like 20 minutes to be done. So if you are cooking for multiple people, it's probably not gonna work for each person to pick a different item. Now you can cook multiple items at once in the oven at the same time. However, you can't really cook multiple like different things at the same time, which I should have like, assumed that, but I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind, you guys. Like I didn't even think about this. So something that we did is we just split the meals in half and then added our own like vegetable or something to it, or just like a, a little side that was really easy to make. And it was actually kind of fun because we got to try more meals over the course of the time that we were trying this. And then it, we also, you know, would be saving money if we were paying for this. So it actually worked out pretty well. I think the Tovala in the meal service works exceptionally well for one person. I think it works 
pretty well for two people. I think if you have more than two people, it's going to be more challenging to use a tovala in the meal service. Technically, you can cook up to four meals at a time. However, that only works with the one tray meals. A lot of the meals have two trays. They don't have one. So you're going to have to be a little bit pickier about which of the meals you choose. And it may be more challenging to find what you want and what works for you. So just keep that in mind. So now let's talk about the nutritional side of the meal kits. So when you're choosing the meals, you can filter for different types of nutritional needs like high protein, low carb, vegetarian. However, if it's very important to you that all of the meals all of the time fit in a particular diet, like kosher or vegetarian, the Tavala delivery service may not be a good option for you because a lot of the times they'll only have like two of the, a meal option for each week that fits into the, each of those dietary categories. When it comes to calories, most of them were between like 450 to 800 calories, found all of them pretty filling. However, one thing that bugged me about the calorie counts is a lot of the meals had extra ingredients, like little toppings that were extra calories that were not counted in the calorie counts. And uh, I was like, come on, like a lot of them add like additional 50, 100, 150 calories from the extra toppings that are not counted in the original calorie counts. I wish they didn't do that, but uh, yeah, moving on. Price of the meals are $11.99. And what I liked is the price stays the same no matter how many meals you get. However, just know that if you get under six meals, they do charge extra for shipping. The shipping was $5.99. Normally, I like to say that about $10 per serving is pretty typical for these meal delivery services. So it is a little bit above average. If you're looking for something that is like the lowest option price wise out there, I think you should pass on this. There are cheaper options out there. Last but not least, we have to talk about what the actual food tastes like. Was it any good? And I have to say, in general, I I really liked how the meals tasted. Like I tried the herb roasted chicken. This one was really good. I gave it like a seven out of 10 and my husband gave it like an eight or nine out of 10. We both really liked it. The only thing I wish is that it had some vegetables, you know, like, eat your greens. The next thing I tried was the broccoli and salmon. And this one was so good. I feel like the salmon was cooked perfectly. The tahini was really nice. That broccoli was super nice and al dente. Like I would probably give this one like an eight out of 10. It was super good. Next, I tried the sage Alfredo pasta. This one was 630 calories. Another one that I split with my husband. This one I would say was not quite as good, but it was still solid. I gave it a six out of 10. We next, I tried the coffee rubbed pork. This one was really light on the calories. It was only 390 calories, but be careful because it did have some extra add-on calories that weren't counted. And this one was super good. This one I ate eight out of 10. The cauliflower was really good. The pork was also good. Definitely hundred times better than anything I would have cooked myself. So I thought that turned out really well. I tried the bacon cheddar ranch and chicken wrap. This one's 860 calories, but this one would be a great one to split if you're with like, you want to split it with someone else. This one I probably gave like a seven and a half out of 10. I also tried the beef bolognese lasagna for 480 calories. However, it did have an extra 50 calories again, with those like sneaky calories, they will, they'll get you. They'll get you, I'll tell you that. This one tasted super good. It was very flavorful. The only thing that I didn't like about it is I wish it had some veggies and it also was, it was more of a heavy dish. I don't think this is something I eat all the time, but the actual flavors were really good. And then finally I tried this steak dish, which was really the only one that I didn't really like. This one I would maybe give like a five out of 10. However, after I cooked it, I realized that there were actually two different barcodes for this one. There was one for more of like a medium cooking and then there was one for more of well done steak. I think I accidentally cooked the well done version because like it was a little chewy and overcooked, I would say. But overall, I would say the meals are pretty good. My only complaint about them is I feel like they're a little bit simple. I, like some of them, I feel like we're just kind of missing something. Like some of them just didn't have any vegetables at all. And I was kind of like, you know, come on. So that is, that is my thoughts. That is my thoughts on the Tovala. Who I think should purchase this? Well, I think this would be the most suited for someone who has a little bit of extra money wants to eat fresh food, but doesn't want to cook themselves from scratch. This is for you, I will tell you that. I think this is also really good for a couple or just like, even if you have like a small family of like three people, I think you could still make it work and split a few of the meals. 
I think it is worth it, especially because it is absolutely an elevated version of the microwave meal delivery services. And I think this is also really good if you're not following any specific diet. However, I think if you're someone who's following a specific diet, if you need something that's lower cost, it just is, doesn't fit in your budget. I think it's also not good for couples where each person wants to eat different things because it's, it's not really well suited for that. And I think this is also maybe not best suited for like a larger family because you are limited to the number of meals you can cook. And then finally, if you have like a really tight kitchen space and counter space, you don't have extra of it, then this could be, you know, it's not really ideal either because you do have to buy a countertop appliance. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know down in the comments, would you buy Tavala? Are you going to buy one? Let me know. I would love to know your thoughts on it. And um, yeah, until next time, bye.